get a little less flamingo-y and a little bit more beachy. Yeah. She said it, not me. I, I mean, it's true. You felt what? You went up there, what'd you say? I just want to know where Alice is. I know. Oh my gosh, Mike, look at that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm standing in our upstairs bathroom. As we are settling into our Florida home and our new Florida life, uh, we just, we thought originally that this bathroom was going to be, well, I thought originally this bathroom was going to be flamingos because I absolutely love flamingos. You can see the flamingos there. I had a pink flamingo over here. But now that it's gonna be basically Ryan's bedroom or bathroom, well, Katie and Brennan are off at school. We thought we might need to make it a little less flamingo-y and a little bit more beachy. We were gonna do navy blue on the walls and keep this brown, but then Mike said that was 280s. So I kind of agree that might be more fun to do something more fun. So what we're gonna do is we painted this um, table last, oh my gosh, maybe six months ago now that color so we're going to take that color which i absolutely love it's like a um, aquamarine something color and we're going to paint the cabinets that color and then we're going to paint the walls white our goal is to do shiplap up the side here um white shiplap and then maybe accent with navy blue like navy blue towels that kind of thing so Brennan's downstairs sleeping and um, he was out late last night with his friends and uh, Mike's helping me pour this big, huge five gallon paint thingamajigger. So I'm gonna start by painting all the walls white. I'm just excited. So this is what it looks like now. This is what it looks like now. And I'll show you when it's done. It might take a few days, probably a lot more than a few days. We're gonna change the light fixture. We're gonna frame out that mirror, paint those, change out the hardware change out the shower curtain, paint the walls, take all this hardware off, put new hardware up, take that out. I'm very excited about the way it's gonna look. We're gonna keep the floors too much of a project and I don't mind them. I think it'll look really nice with, the, um, with our change. So here we go. I have finished painting the bathroom, you guys. It took about four hours and got all the way up there. It was quite high up there, so I had to bring the big guns, the big, the big ladder in, but I painted all of this white. We took off those, which were the towel holders and left holes in the walls, which are fine because we're gonna put, uh, our hope is to put um, shiplap over that anyway. And the color that I used is Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace, which is the same white that we have throughout the house in the rooms that we have that is white, that are white. I love this color. We also have this color Chantilly Lace in our kitchen uh, in our home in Maryland. So um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the cabinets. Can you see there? There's the cabinets. We're gonna um, first take all the doors off and all the hardware and clean up the cabinet using the liquid sandpaper. And then I'm going to paint them. It's been a couple days since, well actually probably four days now since Ryan left for camp. And we've just been, well, when he went to camp, Mike and I were in back in at home in Maryland um, for some graduation parties and a concert that we went to. We didn't vlog up there, but of course you saw the video of Nana Pat dropping Ryan off for camp. All I can do is think about him. I think about him all the time. Like, I wonder what he's doing now. I wonder who he's met now. I wonder what camp is like now. So it was his first time at summer camp. And um, I don't know if you guys ever went to summer camp, but you know what it's like if you have, and it's usually a blast and they can't have their phones. So I can't communicate with him, which probably is the best part of him being at summer camp for him. Um, and for me, it's nice to know that he's fully engaged and doing what he's doing up there. But in the meantime, we have been settling in to Florida and our Florida house and trying to organize. And you saw I've been painting the bathroom. Um, so Mike and I just got back from the hardware store this morning and I got the shiplap. So I got all of the, um, the boards that we're gonna put on the one wall. So I'm gonna shiplap that. My goal is to have the bathroom done before Ryan comes home from camp and he's gone just a week. Um, and Katie and her friends are actually coming back tonight 
from school for a long weekend because they don't have classes on Friday. So they'll come home tonight and we'll get a chance to see them and spend the weekend with them, which will be fun. Unfortunately, she has to go back to school before Ryan gets back from camp. So she has to leave like Sunday afternoon and he gets back late Sunday night. So, um, but maybe she'll get a chance to see the bathroom done as well or help me. Probably not help me because she's going to be here with her friends and going to want to go to the beach and all that stuff. But she's bringing her roommates um, or to, sorry, sorry, two of her friends back here. And then of course her roommate is from here, which is awesome. So they get to see um, her parents too. It's gonna be so much fun. So we're gonna have them over for dinner. Um, probably tonight I'm gonna make some chili because it's Katie's favorite food. And I think they're gonna stop here when they come back. And chili is a great thing. You can just leave on the stove and eat it when, whenever they get here. So I have a lot to do today. Um, we already went to the hardware store. I just worked and put up today's video. So you'll get a chance to see that one. Um, and finish the bathroom. Well, I don't know about finish, but do a lot with the bathroom and then go to the grocery store and make chili. They should be here in maybe like five hours. So I don't have a lot of time to do all this. So here I go. I am first, I think, going to go paint some more upstairs so it can dry. Then I go to the grocery store and get the stuff, make the chili, then paint again. Here I go. Sorry, I got a story for you. So we have noticed bees outside and Mike called. What did he say? What? What's your name? Joe. Joe. Can I take a picture? Yeah. Is that okay? Okay, hold on. Bee vacuum. The vacuum went off. He's a bee vacuum. So you felt what? You went up there. What'd you see? Uh, it looks like they've made. They're making their. I haven't opened it up yet, but it looks like they're in the soffit, which is the under part of the, you know, um, where the roof overhangs. Yeah. If we watch it, is that a problem? Well, we, he said we have to turn the light off because you're going to be going to the light. Yeah, because it's going oh, to okay. get pretty ticked off. <laughs> oh, okay, so we can watch it from the window upstairs. Yeah, whatever. Can we do that? Because I want to see. I want to see. I want to yeah. see. Okay. And, and I'll take like little, I got my phone, my iPhone here. So I'll take like little videos and little uh -huh. pictures of it that I can either send to you or. Uh, yeah. All right, so updating the situation. We're eating pizza right now, but there's bees outside in our roof. And Mike called the other day. I mean, they are swarming and swarming. So Mike called and um, the beekeeper came and here he is already in dinner, I love it. Anyway, you saw him in his outfit. That's not really what it's called, I think it's, it's called, a, guy, you, he's a great he's guy. A They're gonna save the bees, he's vacuuming them up. They're gonna save them and then he works at an organic farm. And they may, they're gonna turn him into honey, not the bees. They're gonna turn, they are honey, he said they're absolutely honey bees. So I think, I, I'm gonna go upstairs and watch. You guys wanna come up and watch? We can watch from upstairs, let's go watch. And this is the thing. Um, they sell the organic honey there. So I'm going to go get some because I know Kate, first of all, Katie loves honey. So I'm going to go do that. And, um, you should turn the light down. Oh yeah, we should. We'll turn the, he asked us to turn the lights off because the bees are, um, I don't know, attracted or not attracted. Yeah. Right over there. Yeah. All right, you guys, there's the beekeeper. I think that's water in there moving around. This is, yes. Water. Some angry bees. No, she's not here yet. I don't know why that door's closed. Oh, Mike might have closed it because of the light. Yes. Okay, you guys, can you see? Here, right. See, there he's right there. Ready? To, you can come see them before. They're not too, they're not getting too aggressive yet. So if you want to yeah. come see them. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Where would we see them? Downstairs? Downstairs? Down here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll be on. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. There's a hive right in there. Oh, yeah. Do you think there's honey in there? There's probably some honey in there. Oh my gosh, Mike, yeah. look at that. That's the that's the beginning of it. Oh then my it goes, gosh. It goes back. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Back all the way to the um, to the end there. Oh, that is crazy. Michael, you yeah. were right. It constantly keeps it because bees only live about 40, 40 days maybe. Oh. oh. Especially here in the south because they they wear out their wings. You know they fly oh. so much that their wings wear out and they just fall on the ground. And oh. Yeah, death. I saw some on the driveway. Think about that. Yeah. yeah oh wow. Exactly. So, um, so the queen has to constantly lay, you know, up to two thousand eggs a day. That's what Holy she does. Oh my job. Yep. So that's how they, that's how the hive stays. Without a queen, the hive the hive would eventually eventually just, you know, every bee would die off. Yeah, and then and there's no more. That would just be the end, the end of it. it. Right. So there's a queen in there, definitely. Oh, there's a queen. Yeah, yeah. there's always a queen. And can wow. you identify like when you're? Can you see like identify the queen? Sometimes she's definitely bigger than the rest of the bees and. Yeah. Careful on the, yeah, that hose and that, uh, my that is crazy. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, they, they choose 
So the big guy has waited until the sun set and he wanted us to turn the lights off and keep the door shut. Mom's looking for Alice. She opens the door. We have two bees in the house now. Look, do you see that? There's bees. He's, and he wants to get us. I did not know about the lights on and bees. The poor bee guy's in there. He probably got stung. I know, Dad. Do you see that now? He's angry. Oh, Jeez, oh man. I just want to know where Alice is. I know, we, we can't so find out. Okay, here we go. My bathroom is coming along. The guy's out there vacuuming up the bees. <laughs> Nan and Pap left. All right, there's my shiplap. I have one, two, three, four pieces up so far. We're gonna keep going up this wall a bit. These are my uh, cabinets. They're obviously not done. These guys, I think, are finished. They've been two coats. I might do three coats. I'm not sure. Two coats, but these guys need to get a second coat. This one needs another coat. And the side over here looks pretty good. Okay, so we're coming along. Again, I'm hoping that it is done for when Ryan returns. Um, in the meantime, I am going to continue working on that and... I don't know that we're gonna see Katie tonight because she is over at her friend's house, but they are in town, they made it. But we're gonna probably see her tomorrow because I think we might be going to the beach, yay! So I wanna share what made me happy today. Brennan, do you mind if I turn the light on to share what made me happy? I do not, make sure a bee doesn't come up here. I know, what the heck, that, that bee is still flying around down there. Mike's kind of concerned. There's two of them, I think. There's two in the middle of the night. All right, what That's made you happy today? That's the sound that bees make for sure. It is the sound that bees make. So we've been, been filming on and off throughout the week. So how about anything that's I think it's probably happy? good like that because it's like more action. Yeah, rather than all in one day. Yeah. Per episode. Like cool things in one day, but like not enough cool things. A lot of cool things over several days. Right. And then you can just take the highlights and, and mash them into one. Yeah, you know that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll, you guys comment down below. Are you guys okay if we have more than one day in a vlog? Because we've been posting like Maybe four days a week. Maybe make an Instagram poll. That is a fantastic idea. You are always thinking. If you guys aren't following Brennan on Instagram, you should totally follow and him on Twitter. Instagram and Twitter. Lay down your Instagram. Uh, it's Brennan M. Donnelly. And then Twitter is Beat on TV Official. Drop a follow. There, he's very entertaining. He's, it's very eclectic too and interesting what he posts. Yeah. She said it, not me. I, I mean, it's true. It's true. What made you happy over the past, I don't know, three, four days? Oh, uh, Ryan leaving. Oh, <laughs> no. He just said today, when does Ryan come home? Because I know you miss him. Uh, Brennan still is searching for a job, potentially. Uh, yeah. I say potentially because at this point. I have point, an interview tomorrow. Yes. I'll only be able to work it for so long. Right, because I think we think that it's he's a great hire, but he could only be here until he goes back to school, which is only a few weeks. So, anyway. Um, I got to play golf yesterday, or two days ago, for free. Oh, yeah. Really nice golf course. That was fun. Congratulations. Some friends. That was awesome. All right. That would make me happy, too, if I were you. Yeah. Oh, and I chipped in on the ninth hole. Hey, you didn't tell me that. Yeah. No nice deal. work. For birdie. Nice work. All right. Lots of things have made me happy. Um, I'm going to name two. One of them is... Brennan, just being, have Brennan, having Brennan around is so wonderful. I just love being in his presence. It's fun um, having him here. And the second thing is the bathroom progress. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to go back to that now and hopefully finish up the shiplap and then do another round of paint so we can start to put it to, back together tomorrow and then frame out the mirror. That's what made me happy. Let's find out what made Michael John happy and then we'll wrap up this video. Sound good? Mikey J. And there's Michael John. What made you happy over the past, say, three, four days? Thanks for asking. Um, oh, yeah. Well, uh, I would have to say, knowing that Ryan is off and running and just having a big smile on his face when he got on the bus, which was awesome. That's, oh, that's a good one. Very good one. We've been, it, throughout the days, like, oh, I wonder what Ryan's doing now. So I'm sure he's having a great time. I also time. need some chocolate sprinkles on my Oh, piece. doesn't that look good? That makes me happy, too. Fantastic. And you made me happy, Jilly. Oh, thank you, Michael John. Mm -hmm. That's a big ask, right? Over three or four days, there's a lot of things sure. that make us happy. I can, I can keep going. You know, I, I mean, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs> For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. 
See you later.